Hello everybody. Um, today I wanted to tell you an experience that I had uh, like two weekends ago. Um, I started speaking in tongues for the first time and I felt the power of the Holy Ghost moving through me. And I was with a group of people. I was with a group of, of people that were also filled with the Holy Spirit. They were they they were they were already believers in Christ. Um but it was so powerful and I've never I was like Lord this this, this I mean I know I see other people speaking in tongues. Even my husband can speak in tongues. But I was like, Lord, me, like, okay, we, we going to see, we going to see. And the Lord definitely showed me that it's possible. And I wanted to read this scripture. It's Acts chapter two, verse one through two. I'm only reading two verses. I'm not going to read the whole chapter, but it's Acts chapter two, verse one through two and I'm pulling it up right now but um, so basically it says oh wait this is the King James or I need I'm, I'm gonna go to the new King James because I want to read it from the new King James version okay so the title of it is called coming of the Holy Spirit it says when when the day of Pentecost had fully come they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. This is exactly what happened to me. This is exactly what happened to me. I was in a house. We was all on one accord. We was filled with the Holy Ghost. We started speaking in tongues. Oh, I'm sorry. Verse three. This this is where this is where it talks about the the tongues. It's in verse three. It says, "Then there appeared to them divided tongues, as of fire, and one sat upon each of them." And they. In verse four. It says, "And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance." So, a lot of people have mixed feelings about speaking in tongues. When you speak in tongues, you're speaking in the spirit. If you're if you're faking it, then you're not you're not really um, praying in tongues. You're not speaking in tongues through the spirit of God. And so that's what makes people question: like, is it wrong? Is it right? It says in Acts chapter two, verse one through four, and they were all on one accord. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all on one accord. They all spoke in tongues. So, yes, it is it is right to speak in tongues, but it's not right to speak in tongues without an interpreter. There is a scripture that Paul talks about. You have to have an interpreter. Um, but if you're speaking in tongues to the Lord, like if you're praying in tongues to the Lord, it's just you and the Lord, then, then that's, that's between you and God. That's between you and the Lord. Um, and I mean, I didn't know you can pray in tongues. You can, you can speak in tongues. You can sing in tongues. I didn't know all of that stuff, but just wanted to let y'all know that God is real and the Holy Spirit is moving. The revival is here. The, revi the revival is here, y'all. So that's all I wanted to say. I only got like maybe 20 seconds left, if that, <laughs> but Thank you all for watching and I will talk to y'all soon. Love you. Peace.